The entrance ticket is probably free. Oh god. Mr. Fancy Cakes! Ah, heal! Halt! Abyss! Stop! We sincerely hope you enjoyed your stay in our luxury cabin. Please gather your belongings and watch your head on exit. Thanks for the hospitality. <laughs> no time to lounge, my boy! Lucky for you, the parade is halted. Another case of a mysterious missing bridge, I imagine. Watch your step! We wouldn't want any tears in that illustrious cape! Bon voyage, buttercup! Don't forget about us working folk. Especially when your pockets are full of riches. I spent four coins for this guy. I'm broke. One coin, a hatchet, and an entrance ticket that's probably free. The forest is blocked until this situation is under control. What situation? What's here? Oh, maybe we should talk over here first. Back away, back away. This area is unsafe for commoners. Hello. Uh, apologies, I'm late. Uh, I should be on the list. First name Graham, last name Graham. The list, unfortunately, is inside the theater, which is across that bridge, which is inexplicably missing. We've ordered a temporary fix, but we're still sorting out the work order. Well, with all the recent budget issues, I remain skeptical about the repairs. Well, can't those knights check the list? Do you mean Kyle and Larry? They're off duty. <laughs> Don't ask. You needn't worry. These knight hopefuls will figure out a solution soon, and then we can carry on with the auditions. Well, but I am a hopeful knight. If you just step aside, I'm confident that I could find a way across. <laughs> Daventry Decree 6645 states that a royal guard, once commanded, must never, under no circumstances, abandon his post while on duty. Well, technically, Addendum 237A allows us to leave if someone is in distress and in need of assistance, of a life or death nature. I stand corrected, and we wouldn't want a repeat of the Rubenstern fiasco. A tardy auditionee, however, hardly counts for distress. Sorry, but we can't leave our post. King's orders. What if I'm in a life or death situation? Would that change? Yup, the bridge is missing. Okay. Well, okay. Let's try going down and see if we can do anything about this then. There's gotta be a way. Or maybe we could just try drowning ourselves. That seems a little bit overkill, though. Oh. There are some pebbles right here. Stay off those rocks. It's dangerous. It's a life or death situation. Distress! Abandoned post! <laughs> Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. I believe he was talking to Well Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> no! I gotta distract them somehow. Stay back. Very important protection duties in process. What do I have that I can distract them with? Entrance ticket to the turn. Can I show that to them? This rope will protect you from that missing bridge. Would an entrance ticket prove my worth? Sorry, but the collection of entrance tickets will take place inside the theater. Oh. How about a coin? Bribes don't work on us. Sorry. How about an axe? And then you cut down that rope, knock those guards <laughs> into the river, and use your battle axe to score victory at the tournament. Not that type of story. Getting a little bit too excited here. Okay. So, getting them to leave the post is not a problem. Oh! Do you see what's here? There's a, there's a nest. Come at me, bees! Oh. Stay off 
off those rocks. It's dangerous. So let's try this again then. Distress! Abandoned post! Hmm? <laughs> Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. I believe he was talking to me. Nope. Me. Wouldn't be the first time I've corrected. This tired argument is getting on my nerves. No need to argue about the fact that I am... Huh? Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Hey, they're dressed Not like good. bees already. Bees! 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 While they're busy. There's only a few more people here. Oh, those are the contestants. Mind if I join your semicircle? Let us big kids figure this one out. Oh, come on. Mouthpiece missing. Another horn and another missing piece. Oh. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Are you serious? Hey, good job thinking of that idea, kid. I can do this. What? What? Why can he do that and not me? Oh, that still won't work. It seems like I've picked up the rope, though. I wasn't going to toot that horn anymore until I found the missing piece. Rope. Yeah, that's not gonna... But, you know what we could do? We could probably chop this down. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Uh... No, they're all getting across with my ideas. What the heck? Seriously? Over here, buddy. <laughs> wow. Well, at least we could probably get across like that. That sucks. These people are horrible. Give me a second. I have the perfect plan. This looks like a problem for my assistant. Nobody here knows how to solve problems. I have brains, but not, not the execution. Are they still worried about the bees? <laughs> well, all right. I can still go through like this. Hopefully. Are you? Oh my gosh. Are Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm livid! I am livid! You know what? There's still the midget guy too, so he's probably gonna figure it out before I do. Or more accurately, I'm gonna figure it out, he's gonna use my method, and then I can't get over. Oh my god, oh my god. Can I give him the rope? You can't ignore me forever. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm deep in thought. 
There has to be another way. Slow and calculated wins the race. Would you like... My rope? Look what I have. Want to build a rope swing? Okay, suit yourself. <laughs> I have this lovely ticket I could share. No? You're gonna regret it. You cut? No cutting! <laughs> Want a coin? Seems like a waste of money. Oh, I can hardly think of any more ways to get across. There's nothing around here. Could we... Could we do something to this? Uh, that, that didn't seem like a good idea. I don't know how that would work. Me neither. You cut? I did not cut that. <laughs> well, doesn't seem like much else here is really gonna help. What about these guys? The forest is blocked until this situation is under control. Okay... Maybe it's got to do with the log, or can I cut this down? No. Oh. Huh. Rope swing? No, I shouldn't embarrass myself again. And then you chop down the tree full of angry bees. <laughs> Enough, Gwendolyn. Even Grandpa's getting sick of it. I don't know how that would work. Seems like a waste of money. You're right. You're not wrong. I just don't know what to do. What can I do? The tree was too heavy to move. I would need to chop it down to size. Oh. Really? I left the hatchet lodged in the tree because I would not need it any more. Are you sure? Quite what? Sure. Everyone always asks about that hatchet. They get a tad annoying. Huh? You've got a point. So now I will use the rope. Alrighty. And now I will ride it without any problems. I will get over there. Please. Hurry up, hurry up. The faster we do this... No! No! Oh my god! Oh! Hang on a sec. Graham, right? Yes. Um, how did you know my name? Well, you'd be surprised at the information people give out when they're too busy thinking about their own agenda. I also observed that without you, no one could have made it across. Well done, Graham. Thank uh, you! Thanks, I guess. They'll never acknowledge it, you know. Those who use their minds over their biceps are never woven into the tapestries of time. I can tell you're like me. A creative thinker, an intellectual. To win this competition, you'll need to prove that your talents are more powerful than their strength, agility, and speed. You'll also need a friend. I could really use a friend. They call me Manny. Pleased to meet you. So, friend, <laughs> what's your favorite color? Do you like popcorn flavored jelly beans? Because I do. What's your availability for sleepovers? Are we in a secret club? <laughs> Green. I prefer pizza flavored. I'm free on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I would say more of a secret alliance. Alliance? This competition will not be easy, and Daventry needs men like us. If we put our heads together, we might have a shot. What's the plan? If you win, put a good word in for me with the king. And if I win, I'll do the same. Soon, we'll both be moving up the ranks in the castle together. We should head inside the theater, though. Wow! Let me know how I can help. Oh, I feel like this guy's way too friendly. I have trust issues from everybody I've met so far. So I feel like that guy's gonna betray me at the last second or something. Like, maybe we'll let him win. But, 
but he's not gonna put in a good word for me or something like that. I don't know. I just I have trouble trusting people these days. But I am very thankful that he acknowledged that all the stuff I did for the other people. Does this one work? Oh. Another horn and another missing piece. How do the people use it ever then? They're never It's never not broken. Night auditions. Let's go. Graham, to the front of the stage, please. Now that we have recovered our list, it is my duty to inform you that you are officially signed in. Yay. And I do want to apologize. I am very, very terribly sorry. But we've run out of commemorative tote bags. Oh my goodness. That's not a problem. I have no use for tote bags. My mother designed my cape with lots of pockets. Is the next event about to start? Not so fast, pocket boy. The tournament bylaws explicitly state that each contestant must complete every event before continuing on in the competition. Since you were late, you missed the test of chivalry and the welcoming parade. Oh. Both designed as light-hearted warm-ups and getting to know you type exercises. You know, an icebreaker before we start in on the usual death, destruction, and duels of a cutthroat nature. Don't forget about Amendment 70, Article 4. I was getting to that, thank you. In the spirit of equal opportunity, the new rules state that you can schedule a makeup chivalry test if and only if the circumstances for your absence were extenuating. So, I will ask, what were your extenuating circumstances that made you late for the tournament? <laughs> I don't know what extenuating means. Hey, none of these are extenuating! No! Well, my mom whipped up a stack of my special choco chip pancakes, and she never lets me leave the house until I finished all my breakfast. Mm-hmm. I'll just pencil in mummy's boy. Hey! Now, go on, mingle with the other contestants. Find out as much as you can about them, and when you're ready for the chivalry test, come and see me. All right. We know about Manny. When it clasped shut! My arm was pinched between the treasure and its casing. I couldn't stay. If I did, I'd lose circulation and my limb would be lost. If I tried to remove my arm, it would be sliced from wrist to elbow. Whoa. I didn't have much time. Then, a sharp snort erupted through the shadows. It heard me. There were no options. If that treasure was to be mine, I had to sacrifice my arm for the good of the rest of me. Okay. I flung my pinched arm downward as hard as I could. Hey there, I'm Graham. Charmed, I'm sure. And your name? What? Well, I, I didn't catch your name. What? Is this true? <laughs> Surely you jest, Greg. What rock did you crawl out from? <laughs> How do you not recognize this... Well, proportioned face. Well, it's uh... not Greg, it's Graham. And, uh, of course, I know who you are. You're... You're... That jerk who pushed me into the river, that seems a little bit... antagonistic. Can we actually find out his name later? Hmm. Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. Maybe we can find his name. Mm -hmm. What about this guy? Mm -hmm. Big, buff, and strong? Hey, uh, thanks for knocking that log over out there. Really, he gave me the opportunity to go on a lovely cruise. Those nights were annoying me, and I wanted some alone time. Leave me be, little fly. You don't want to wake the bull. Look, I, I don't uh -uh. want to be in this conversation any more than you do, but I missed the chivalry test, and I need to make it up. The faster we get this over with, the faster I can leave you alone. Well, make it quick, then buzz off. What's your name? Ooh, what were you hiding in your hand? What was that you were hiding in your paws? Well, none of your business, feather boy. Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. What is that? Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. 
I have no idea what that is. I'm Graham. Graham Cr No. No last names. I don't even want your first name. And your name? I'm known throughout the land as Sir Conference. <laughs> but I'm currently in the process of rebranding myself. Starting with my name. You should call me Acorn. Acorn? Do we have to know their names? They seem to be placing a bit of... Wait, is he holding an acorn? Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. I have no clue. I'll leave you be. Go away. Rebranding, huh? Yeah, I know what it's like when you have a crappy name. <laughs> There's that guy, and then we got Manny and... Shreki Afamata. Shreki Makamaka Dungawakaka. Do Shreki Nika Hornswoggle. Hello, my name's Graham. Nice to meet you. Achaka. Yeah, we don't need to partner up. So, where do you hail from? Achaka. I see. Sounds exotic. <laughs> so, um, what type of arrows do you fly with? Achaka. Nice, nice. I prefer the hand-whittled sapling arrows myself. Want to partner up? Show Daventry the power of dueling archers? What do you say? Achaka. Yeah, you're right. You'd probably just slow me down. <laughs> Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. We don't know this guy's name. Oh, hey, Graham. We were just sharing some tips about the tournament. Let me know if you want the rundown about any of our competitors. I do. Sir Ten of himself. That's the other guy. What can you tell me about Acorn? I can tell you not to mess with those bullhorns in any strength competition. I shouldn't be telling you this, but I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his belly. Oh! What kind of a weirdo does that? Imagine what else he's hiding under there. Neither of us is going to be able to match his strength. If we're going to oust him, we'll need to work together and expose his secrets. All right. What can you tell me about Achaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent quiver. <laughs> you got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance. But the translation isn't quite working. <laughs> What can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's so inconsiderate. Although clever, these silly puns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. Go meet everyone, then come talk to me. I've got a few tips to share. That's not his name, okay. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. Well, he seems really nice so far, and we did get some good tips. But we still don't know this guy's name, and I wonder if we can find out. Back it up! Back it up! Maybe we should just ask the man himself. And not say Sir Ten of himself. Yes? Have you remembered my name? Maybe we should just go with something flattering. Every woman's dream? Well, you got that right. The ladies love, 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 love... <laughs> Who? Who? Who do they love, Gabe? It's not Gabe, it's... Oh, never mind. Yes, your name... Uh, you are... You're... Sir Ten of himself? That is that supposed to be insulting? Uh... Hang on. Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. I'm gonna talk to that one guy on the st Hey, if we talk to him, are we gonna start the tournament, though? I don't want that either. There's nothing back here. Are you ready for the chivalry test? No. Now, uh, give me a little more time to mingle. I don't want to say the jerk thing, even though he is one. That was within. Yes? Have you remembered my name? Guess we'll have to go with Sir Ten of himself. Sir Ten of himself. <laughs> <laughs> Ch cheeky. <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Grant. Well, I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're... Do I have to say that? 
That jerk who pushed me into the river. Oh, yes, that silly feather does look familiar. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> it's like a limp piece of cheese. <laughs> What you need, Gail, is an upgrade. <laughs> like, my mane of excellence. Hey, hey, my mother gave me that feather. I might be silly, but you're... you're... Oh. Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. Oh, we can't find his name. That's really weird. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe Manny can help us? Shrekky. Yes, Graham? You want some dirt on someone? No. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. Ah, Chaka. Nope. Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. Maybe we gotta use a item. Shrekky hainga maka maka. I have no idea what he's saying. There's not that much around here. Oh, maybe we can talk to this guy about the squirrels. What do you want? I, uh, heard what you're hiding. No, you didn't, skinny pants. I did. I heard a rumor that a tiny squirrel pet lives under your belly. What? Who told you that? I bet it was Whisper. He's Whisper. the worst. His ego is the one thing I can't stomach. And she, well, she's not my pet. She's my friend. Does your squirrel friend have a name? I wish Whisper would keep his big mouth shut. Her name is Princess Madeline of Avalon. Aww. She's a proper lady. What else is hidden in that belly? The bones of a feather boy if you don't leave me alone. I think you're hiding something else in there, but I'm not sure I want to find out. I'll leave you be. You need to get lost. That kind of name is uh, it's a little bit different from what I would expect. <laughs> Maybe he needs to rebrand so. Yes, Graham? You want some dirt on someone? What can you tell me about Whisper? Whisper? Huh. His feet might fly by without a sound, but his mouth never will. A shining star in his hometown, he hopes to rebuild his fan base in Daventry. Ooh. I've heard he'll do anything for the spotlight and can never be outshined. People at Arrogant are usually primed for a fall. Don't you think so? So something about Spotlight for Whisper. Acorn has bull horns that we shouldn't mess with during the strength competition. What about Achaka again? What can you tell me about Achaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent quiver. <laughs> you got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance. But the translation isn't quite working. So something to do with archery. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye! What about Manny? We don't know about what Manny is good at. The ivory monster un- Yes? Have you remembered my name? Whisper. Correct. Well, Whisper's full name is Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. The third. Hailing from Modesto. <laughs> but I'm sure a fan like you knew that. Would you like an autograph? Huh, I don't seem to have any portraits on me. Well, if you find one, I'll sign it. Free of charge. Whisper loves his fans. Whisper loves the knighthood. Whisper loves thwarting evil. But most of all, Whisper loves Whisper. As do we all. I should be getting back to my chivalry test now. Don't go! Whisper can do it! That's a nice thought, but I'm pretty sure those guards would never confuse you for me. I mean, your armor is pretty recognizable. Whisper's armor is shiny because Whisper loves his own reflection. Yeah, hmm. I, I, I get it. Good day, Whisper. Yeah, everybody here has armor besides me. I'm wearing cloth. I'm at a little bit of a disadvantage here. Are you ready for the chivalry test? I should be. 
Let's do it. Question one. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? I haven't heard Achaka speak English, so I'll say Manny. Manny? We're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. All right. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. Achaka! So far away that his language is different. What about Whisper, though? He's from Modesto. Eh, I guess I'll try Achaka for now. Achaka! Okay, moving on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. III of Modesto. I'm sure of it. I see. Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Easy peasy. Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite charming. Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got all the answers correct. Yes! Great job, Pockets. Now, we shouldn't keep your new friends waiting, should we? Let's start the show. Welcome, everybody. You were all here to win a knight position on King Edward's court. But that's not all. As you all know, tragically, the king has no heirs. So, this position could very well lead to the crown of Daventry itself. Now, let's officially commence the competition part of the tournament. I do hope you've all made friends, because it's about to get nasty. The time has come to collect your entrance tickets. Oh, uh, oh over here! Over here, I got mine right here! I'm sorry, I really am, but that is not an entrance ticket. In fact, from up here, it looks like a, a sweaty piece of cloth. Oh, oh my god. Probably just a snot rag. <laughs> Each night hopeful will need wow. to bring back to the theater, dum 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 dum, one eye of a hideous beast. And due to Proclamation 1748.2, it will actually need to be a hideous beast. Not like last year. No adorably cute, fuzzy, or tiny creature eyes will be accepted. Thank you. Oh! Nothing to see here. There are many hideous eyes to find in Daventry. We urge you to take this opportunity to show us your skills. We want to know what's in your heart, how you think, and how you react in the face of danger. You might not believe all that can be interpreted from one eye, but we will still judge you all the same. Now, everyone, go forth and claim thine eyes. <laughs>